starts off very nice, yes. you know. And then, you know, like I'll start off like going, um. And I start off really melodic, but then it starts to get, you know, where we're the, you know. It's like, starts to get very fast. And the first part is hard to hear from your playing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> it's nice, oh, nice. Oh, thanks. Super nice. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, do you have any the, uh, special lick that you like to use? Or? Um, that's a good question. Yeah, I like to string skip. So, licks that I like to... <laughs> Something like that. Uh, <laughs> a little slow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, see what, it's, it's a simple string skipping, but uh -huh. it, it goes like, uh... <laughs> and when you play it fast, like... <laughs> yeah, it's look more simple. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay, and uh, do you have any uh, suggestion on the, on the alternate picking? Yeah, I, I tell people to start with a tremolo, to start just with one note, just go... Uh, I call that potential picking speed, oh. PPS. So once you do that... So you can just go and go, but it starts with this. Once you, once you do this, watch how you play, and then start adding external. Mm. Mm -hmm. so, but it starts with understanding what you're playing. I, I tell people for alternate picking, don't watch this hand, watch this hand. Uh. Because so many people, they'll, they'll be like this. Uh -huh. They'll watch this hand okay. and never think about this hand. Yes, that's a, a new thing that I ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I saw your, your, your peak angle is kind of not... not it's not single. normal, uh, because I am left-handed, oh, yes. so I should play like this, uh -huh. but when I grew up, um, there were no left-handed guitars, oh, okay. so, so I, um, like a piano, a piano is right-handed, uh -huh. uh, there's only one kind of piano, okay. uh, there was only one kind of guitar <laughs> growing up, okay. so I had to play right-handed. Uh, also, that's uh, because of... Yeah, I... I, I did this because this is not my normal picking. Oh, okay. It should be if I, when I play left-handed, I look normal. Okay. I thought it's uh, it's the technique. <laughs> no, no, it, okay. it's luck. Okay. I, I, I just got lucky. Okay.呃，นี่คือตัวดับเบิลกีตาร์ของตัวที่เป็นกีตาร์ตัวที่ดังที่สุดในเนี่ยตัวที่ดังที่สุดนะครับของเอ็มเอบีเรานะครับยัง
somebody on this side won't go. <laughs> Two amps. We need two amps. So how how how, uh, how does it come to your uh, thinking of playing two guitar in different notes? Well, I wanted to be different, mm -hmm. and, and I wanted to be good on CD, good mm -hmm. music. Mm -hmm. I wanted, but I wanted to have a show because uh, when you look at rock history, guitar players smash guitars mm -hmm. or burn guitars. Mm -hmm. They get really crazy, mm -hmm. and so this to me was something to draw. The people to go wow. That's the, yes. Just to, to go wow. <laughs> Everyone that's, go wow. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't meant to invent a brand new instrument. It mm -hmm. was meant to 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 do something that was different. Just to be different. And uh, that's uh, is that mean that uh, normally in, in in the studio that you play live, you didn't play the double. Yeah, in parts. the studio I don't need this uh -huh. because if I play two parts uh -huh. in the studio I could do two parts. Uh -huh. okay. So I only use this live. Uh -huh. So let's talk about your guitar, MAB-1, about the design and uh, the sounds. Yeah, this is a Dean guitar. And get, I, I was when I wanted to have a signature guitar, what I thought about is there's not many new things you can do uh -huh. with a guitar, with pickups. How many different ways can you do? With body shapes, mm -hmm. I wanted to do something more traditional. Mm. So we made it more traditional. But I love history. And so we have great graphics people at Dean Guitars. This graphic is about warriors. Oh, this yes. is about picture uh -huh. the warrior from Thailand. Okay? Picture a warrior from England. Uh -huh. um, this is armor. Mm. And it's like kill you armor. Okay. Um, underneath, this is uh, called chain mail. Oh, yes, chain mail. From, from underneath the oh, arm. Okay. Okay, and then I like fast cars and speed, so these are hot rod flames. Okay. So we call this the armor flame, meaning armor mm -hmm. and flames. Um, I, I love Dean guitars, and I wanted to have a 24 fret guitar, but, but there's something very unusual about this signature guitar. Do you notice there's nothing here? Uh -huh. Most guitar players will put their name on it, yeah, yeah. and that's the biggest reason for people not to want to buy your guitar. <laughs> Because okay. you most, I don't want to play someone else's guitar. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I, okay. So when I did this, my sales went crazy uh -huh. because people like the guitar, not the fact that it's just uh -huh. my guitar. Uh -huh. See, and so this was very special to me. Now everybody does this, mm. but see again, I wanted to be different. I think differently. Mm -hmm. I want to do things differently than other people, and but I wanted this to be. Nothing mm. to do with me, mm -hmm. and uh, but we have Grover tuning keys, an original Floyd Rose uh, that's made in Germany. I think mm. they're at the top of the line. EMG, uh, eighty-one eighty-five mm -hmm. SA standard, but it's a beautiful guitar, mm -hmm. and it, it sounds great. I, I really love it. Yes, it has it's had a great review in in uh, guitar website, many oh, guitar websites. Thanks. Yes, and uh, how about your effects? You just bring only one effect here? Yeah, my effects are pretty much here. <laughs> <laughs> but but I love uh, the company T Rex, uh -huh. and and I have the MAB signature overdrive, which is this, and this overdrive is special because most guitarists like me and that play my style mm -hmm. like an Ibanez TS9 mm -hmm. tube screamer. Mm -hmm. there, there's Ibanez makes a, a TS9. It's mm -hmm. great. It's a really great pedal. Mm -hmm. I like the Ibanez TS9. I have many of them, oh. but when you play low on the TS9 here, mm -hmm. I didn't like the sound. Um. It sounded great here, but as you move down, it's like... Mm -hmm. So when I said to T-Rex, mm -hmm. make me a TS9 on the top, uh -huh. but yeah. better on the bottom. Uh -huh. And so my pedal is smoother on the bottom mm -hmm. and beautiful on, on mm -hmm. the top. I love it. Okay. <laughs> And I heard that you set up your guitar a little higher. Yes, I like high action. Um, people don't associate that with me, but I, w I have a good vibrato. Uh, uh, and and uh, I like higher action because it, I like, it sounds better. Mm -hmm. The tone of the guitar sounds better. Mm -hmm. If it's too low, it buzzes and you don't get a good sound. Mm -hmm. So if you have to pick uh, one guitar and one effect and the one amp, 
what would be your uh, top of mind? Well, I would pick this guitar because it's mine. My <laughs> signature. Um, I would pick this effect because mm -hmm. it's mine. <laughs> yeah, but it's nice. And, and I would it. pick a JCM 900 Marshall amp uh -huh. with custom Russian tubes. <laughs> a custom Russian tube? Is yeah. to be that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, like not sub tech tubes, but tubes made from people that. There, I can buy tubes uh, in the United States from Russia that, that are really, really nice. Mm. They're, they're handmade, they're, they're from working people. That, mm. you know, they're, they're not uh, normal, uh, so. like, like, like store-bought. Mm. And uh, that's, to me, the best. One more sound? One more, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, so here's the last part. Uh, sure. How do you like in Thailand? You come here the, twice, right? Yeah, Thailand's beautiful. Uh -huh. yeah, it's great. Okay. Uh -huh. And uh, if, the fan want, uh, if the fans want to buy your music, where can they? Well, it. I, I, they could probably get it here through, through Virtuoso Music. Uh -huh. Also, I'm very visible on the internet. Ah, uh, okay. And if they really want to, they can find it for free somewhere. No, <laughs> man, it can't be, it can't be. Yeah, I know, be. I don't like that, but I'm just saying. Um, but I, 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 I was online in 1996. Yes, I yeah, online very early. And we have a the big... The first person? Yeah, we, I, I won't say the first, but one of the very first. Yes. A and we've done really well. Uh -huh. Yeah, I, I'm solely on the internet now. It's great. Okay, so have a, a few words with a guitar player in Thailand? Uh -huh. This uh, with, uh, for, for the guitarsiam.com. I'll uh, say what? A few words. Oh, oh. Yeah, a, a few words for the guitar player in Thailand. Well, I would say this. Uh, thank you for having me in Thailand. You have a beautiful country. Uh, you have a lot of great musicians here and people who love music. And I think... The thing that I can tell you that I live for myself is, for guitar players out there, there's only three things you can do. Practice, practice, practice. Uh, last question is uh, one of my questions. Sure. There's another question that I want to know uh, mm -hmm. from a long time. Uh, could you show us that your finger? How many fingers do you have? <laughs> <laughs> I can do stupid things with my fingers like this. Oh, like wow. That. Very strong. Yeah, yeah you know. Um, yeah, it's funny. But it's my strength is in... <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank but you very uh, much. Thank yeah. you very much. Thank you. Thank you for having me.